R-06-1410-2, setting internal payments at 5%. I'll okay. make a motion to approve resolution R-06-1410-2, setting internal payments at 5%. Second. It's been moved by Gary Osborne, seconded by Lance Masters. Is there further Sorry. discussion? That's fine. Is there discussion on this no. item? <coughs> yeah, well, I don't think that's, uh, I think it should be, um, I know that's something we've done, but it's a, what is it, as in, in lieu? No, it's a franchise fee. Well, yeah. And I, that's, I, I think that's in most of it's kind of a franchise fee. I think it should stay as a, as a franchise fee. It's and not changing, and it's the same amount. I mean, we're not increasing it. Yeah, but it, you mean the title of it? Yeah, I think it calls it, that's what it is, it's a fee. So, it's not probably a company, but it should be just what it says it was. I mean, well, a franchise fee. We've never called it a franchise fee. We've always called it a payment in lieu of a franchise fee. Everything I see on is always been franchise fee. That's what you call it. I, I can show you the documents. Payment in lieu of franchise <coughs> fee. Now, again, because we used to call it that and we had this discussion on whether fee, that as a fee should be subject to voter approval, the attorney said, look, it's not a franchise fee. Just take that word out of there and call it internal payments because it's internal transfer from one fund to the other. And that's when we change that. But we've never called it a franchise. We've all called payments. And Lou, well, he's saying drop the franchise, just call it internal payments. Well, my, my argument on it is, is I like it being the fees, just as I, I believe fees should be in the, in the charter. And that um, there was a vote taken by the citizens to, um, to gain control of upping costs. We're not upping this. Upping, co upping costs of them in the city. And, uh, when you, the only way you can do that is in the Constitution, you have to be in the charter for that to, everything's under fees, fees, rates, charges, and taxes, then it has to be citizens. Uh, when you allow this to be in here, then it can just be arbitrarily moved up by, without the citizens moving up. And people look at it, I think the, the, uh, the problem that people have, you know, I, I maintain that in the charter too, is that you can call it a fee, you can call it a, a charge, you can call it what, what it's being used for. People say, well, they block it off because it's a tax. Well, a fee can turn into a tax. If it's, if it's something, I mean, you're still paying something to people, they gotta come up with the money they gotta pay for it. And you're gonna make them continue to pay for it. So the fact that it's 5% or 5% now doesn't mean it has to stay 5%. In fact, the administrators already approached it on um, wanting to um, raise it above the 5% with just a, a vote of the council. So I, I believe this is something that should say either fee charge or whatever uh, on it somewhere and, and I believe it should continue over to the charter to say um, those things all wind up on that side of the charter too. But this is so that's my, that's my argument. Okay. Okay. This has been the past. I agree. Yeah. <coughs> I was just waiting until you guys were done because this was sort of a. Correct me if I'm wrong at the at the legal table over there, but um, a franchise fee is something that we would charge a company that's coming in, using our roads, doing business, um, charging our citizens, uh, you know, a fee for their service. That's right. So, like, if we didn't have our own city utility, it could be a power company. Um, we do that with the garbage service. Um, uh, Sprint? Okay, so they're... CenturyTel. CenturyTel. Yeah, phone company. So those are businesses, franchises of businesses that are operating in, in the city. Some utilities, some businesses, yes. Right. Well, let's say it was PGE that was providing... Right. That's a business, right? Utility. That's a utility. A regulated utility. Okay. So, um, but they're doing business here and they're... That's right. You know, um, so that's a franchise. Correct. And a franchise fee is something that a city would, or some form of government would charge to a business or a utility. Correct. So since we don't have, we aren't really a business, we are a city, these are payments in lieu of those franchise fees. And there's a state law that was created that required cities to have payments in lieu of franchise fee because businesses thought, well, it's not really fair if they provide the services for themselves. They're, they don't face 
the same cost as we do if we provided it. So in my mind, um, it's not a franchise fee. It's a payment in lieu of franchise fee. Kevin. Uh, if hypothetically we were getting electrical service from Pacific Power, would implementing or increasing the franchise fee that we charge to Pacific Power require a vote of the citizens with the referendum in the charter? Increasing or establishing or increasing uh, a new fee under the charter would require a vote. Okay, so if it's exactly the same thing, except for we're just a municipal electric utility as opposed to Pacific Power, and it's been implemented to make it fair with the public, with the for-profit utilities, then how, how is it different that this is not a fee? If, if we'd have to vote on it, if we were going to increase it or implement it to Pacific Power, then why don't we have to vote on it to implement it with our municipal electric company? You're asking me? Yeah. Well, in my mind, uh, a fee is something you charge someone. You don't charge yourself a fee. Well, That's we why. We're doing. Well, we are charging ourselves a fee. Well, we are. Yes, we're, make it, we're making a tra Okay. Okay. Uh, Kevin asked me a question. I was answering it. I gave him an answer. Okay. And saying, the answer is it's a transfer. It's not a fee that we're charging. But, but I'm sorry. I, I don't we do that all the time, as we've discussed but, earlier. But the rationale behind it is that it's it's the same thing as we would charge to Pacific Power. So we're charging that to our own electric utility. If, we, if it was Pacific Power we were paying our electrical bill to, it would require a vote of the people to increase it or implement it. But because it's a city department, that's not required. It's just an internal payment. There's no, it is an internal payment. Even though it's the same thing, it's just an, it's something completely different. It's not completely different, but it is different because it's internal. Part, part of the reason that, for example, PG&E, it's called a franchise fee, and it is regulated differently, is that PG&E is authorized by state law to pass that fee on to the customer. And if you're a PG&E customer and you look at your electric, electricity bill, you're going to see all your stuff, and you're going to see franchise fee from the city of Portland, X percent. Okay? Now... On our bills, you don't see franchise fee. It's a cost of doing business that, that each utility manages that we can't necessarily pass on to our customers. We don't say, well, if it raises 6%, then every customer is going to be paying 6%. You don't say, the utility itself manages that cost, that internal cost, to deliver its services. And whether it passes that on or not is, frankly, up to you guys when you set the rates in which they uh, they collect for their services. So that's a key difference that and you'll see between a franchise fee and internal payment and why that's, I think, a key difference in what you'll see in uh, uh, investor-owned utilities like PG&E and a city-owned utility like us. I, and, and I don't get that. that it's, it's, uh, if you decide to pass, you decide you want more money for something in the city, in the, in the administrative end of the city. You go over to city power and say, we're hitting you up higher on, on so you're going to the people. You're going to the people and going from 5% to 7% and you're taking it. You, they are businesses and you're, and you're taking the money from it. It's the same thing. City line is business on its own. Um, Waters is business on its own. And the only way you can get money from them is to hit them up with a, with a franchise fee. You have to do the same thing and then you get to spend it any way you want to once you once you get it. So you can hit the people up for more money if you want more money through that fee. But, but the assumption is that, that, that City Light can immediately pass that fee increase on to its citizens, its customers. And that's not a fair assumption. That's not true. That's the difference. If, if I'm in the city of Portland and I say PGE or range to 5 to 7, PGE to go, okay, all the customers, 5 to 7. If you guys say, Five to seven. City Light can't go. Customers, five to seven. He doesn't say that. Okay. He can't say that. That's right. He cannot he say, say that. that. He, he can say our costs happen. have gone up, and then yeah. we need to talk about whether we can afford that. And then we have this very long rate-setting process on whether an increase happens or not. That's the difference. And that's I think it's a very big difference. It's yeah. not automatic. You kid yourself if you think it's going to be passed on. 
Well, okay. well, I mean, we've discussed this. Mr. Monahan, would you agree that that's the difference? Because it's not automatically passed on, it makes it completely. Well, I'm a little confused because I, I thought this resolution wasn't increasing a fee, that the 5% has been in place. If the, if the city were going to increase the um, fee charge to a consumer of utility fees, the, the electric company, from 5 to 7%, I think that would be an increase in fees that would require a vote. Um, well, I, I guess the point we're at is there's no official documentation of a franchise fee. At least that's what I understand from. So even though it's been it's been happening, it's never been established as an official policy. Well, I, I think the the conversation that that Bernard was alluding to is a discussion last year with the with with Andy. Is that right? Mm -hmm. So uh, I didn't I didn't. No, this question was going to come up. So I, because I didn't see this as an increase. This is five percent. It was five percent last year. Well, it's not an increase. It's not. A, it's a, it's establishing a percentage is what it's doing. It's or, a, or officiating or whatever it is you want to call it, because there's no apparently no documentation. There's a budget. The budget. That's what we've been using to set this fee. But it has been set and it has been charged in the past. Yes. It's not a new charge. It's been charged for, again, 25 plus years. Right. Without documentation. Without the budget. That's, that's your documentation. But there's no, which, ordinance, frankly, there's no ordinance that there's says. There's no resolution. There's no ordinance, which was identified last year when we talked about this. And that's what we're trying to fix here. That's why we brought this resolution for you. What I wanted to add to Mr. Mayor is, Mr. Monahan hadn't seen the legal analysis that, that Andy did on internal payments, but I'll, I'll just uh, tell you that in Andy's analysis, an internal payment, if you increase that from 5 to 6 percent, it's not subject to voter approval per the Charter Amendment approved in November 08. That, that was his analysis. And I know you haven't looked at that. No, we, but Andy's analysis is the one that I was, was using last meeting. Andy made the analysis that, that the city has relied on. He's, he's the expert on the voter approved uh, initiatives. So I, I'm not here to qualify his, his question, particularly with lack of information. And, okay. and my argument isn't that it's going up or down. My argument is what it says. It's, it's, it's called an internal payment. And by being called an internal payment, it doesn't fall under the guidelines of uh, what the voters pay on to, to try to control raises and, and, and costs uh, to, to them, the city. So I'm looking to try to get another name on I want I want fee, charge, whatever you want to put, tax, whatever you want to put on it. I want, I want that name on it so that it falls in, that, in the guidelines of what the voters voted for and, and, and asked for. I, I don't want to be something that can just be used to start jacking things up. Right. Okay. Here's another way to look at this on why this is this doesn't fit that that uh, charter amendment. When we bought the OEO car, we charged all the utilities. We charged. We did an internal payment transfer between uh, City Light, Water, Utility, all of them to the general fund to buy that car. Now that was an internal payment to to, to uh, purchase something that the city needed. I don't think that was, the, the intent was that that's not a fee, that was an internal payment to address the cost. That's not subject to voter approval. <clears throat> I don't think anybody would say, oh no, that should have been subject to voter approval. It, that's not the purpose of the Charter Amendment. So, and it's the same, exact same transaction that's taking place between uh, the utility funds and the general fund. Well, I, I think you're looking at, I think you're trying to compare apples and oranges, frankly. Carry. I would raise the question, if the city council or the voters decided to call the internal payment a franchise fee, would that be legal under Oregon state law? I don't know. Okay. But that's an avenue you, you, you could take. You could just say, 
we are going to establish this as a fee and make it subject to the charter um, provisions. Unless it violates an ORS, and, and that solves the whole thing. Then you know where you stand. You either say it's a fee or you say it's not a fee. But bring it to a vote, make a decision, or let the voters do it. If, if there's a loophole in what we brought to the voters, we'll figure out how to fill the loophole. Okay, well, um, is there going to be further discussion? We I have a motion. more question for the okay. attorney. So, I mean, the, the practice of collecting this from the utilities is enough evidence in itself to allow us to establish that. I, I guess I don't understand the, just because the money's been collected in the past, that validates passing a resolution to do it in the future. I mean, as far as, as far as if, if, if we couldn't pass this resolution because of the citizens' initiative, if there's an increase or whatever, I, you see what I'm getting at. I understand. Because because just because it was being done doesn't necessarily mean it was being done properly. And if it wasn't being done properly, I don't see the reason for doing this now. Well, I I, I wonder the same thing. Do do we have an opinion from Andy that says that the process that was done before was incorrect and had to be changed? No. Then I don't understand what, if, if there is an issue. Exactly. If there is an issue, then there's an issue. If, if, it's, if there's no issue at all, then why even bother doing it? That's kind of what I'm getting at. What, what's, what's, the, what's the driving force for us to pass this if it's not an issue? Well, the, 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 the driving force to pass it is to have some kind of document, documentation that acknowledges what our, our internal payment uh, rate is. That's, that was the, 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 uh, the, the emphasis. And just for the record, again, Andy, and I can show you the emails, Andy did review this question, is internal, this internal payment a fee? And he said, no. There, there's, from our legal uh, review of this, this is not a fee subject and, to, and I, just, I didn't know if there's any. on his knowledge that there was never any Resolution or ordinance that established that. In the sure, year. he knew all. Really? That. Yes, we okay. talked about that. Okay. I, well, I, I think it's kind of. I, I'm not sure that I'm willing to rely on the recollection of an email when we have an attorney sitting right here. So. I, well, my concern is that I. I was not involved in that decision sure. and w was not. Uh, asked to look at this particular resolution and uh, if I, I could have conferred with Andy if I knew it was an issue. Sure. That, that, that's, what, that's my point is, is that if we're going to rely on legal advice, I would, I would prefer that it's legal advice that's right here, right now, as opposed to a recollection of legal advice. I guess my question is, it's reason we made it, is it whatever you guys pass or take will affect the residents of Cascade Lock. So the five percent is that will that affect every resident on a say meter rate or a anything like that? That that's that's the bottom line. It, it's the fee that you're going to get internal means internally you've collected money. Now where have you collected it from? You've collected it from all the residents that that are in the city of Cascade Lock. If you're collecting that five percent monthly or whatever you're doing it, that's a fee that's being sent out to we the people personally, and that's what we feel it, it, it's a fee. It, it, you put all kinds of words in front of it, and even you said it in your conversation to them. You said the word fee. You said the word charge when you were explaining this whole piece of action. So if, if what you got here is coming to us individually? It's not. It, it's, uh, it's being collected from the utility, but if we're going, yeah, if course. they're going to increase rates, they can't just pass along that cost directly to the public, as in with a franchise fee like Pacific Power does. 
where it says franchise fee and that is a direct pass on, we would have to, um, if there was a rate increase, it all comes to council and council decides on whether a rate increase is going to be made. So it's not like we, in, if we were to increase that cost, that they would just say automatically pass that along to the customer. They would absorb it and then at some point have discussion whether combined costs would be reflected in the, in the rates, but that would be a discussion among council before any rates were increased, not, not um, as a direct result of any increased cost to the public utility. That's why it's an internal payment. So anyway, there has been a motion and a second, and if there's not further discussion, um, then I suggest that we do a vote. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Motion passes, four to three. Thank you. Um, now, 